All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to fact check your food in under five seconds. Now, what do I mean by fact check? What I mean is I'm gonna show you how to break down any kind of nutrition concern, ingredient concern, or processing concern that are associated with any of the foods that you routinely buy at the grocery store. If you do this, you are very much going to limit any kind of toxic material you put in your body. You're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel healthier, you're gonna have more energy. If you don't do this, it's gonna be the exact opposite. You're going to continue to wonder why you're not feeling as good, you don't have as much energy, you're not recovering as well. The reason why I chose to do this video is because one of my clients came up to me the other day and said, hey, Eric, is this protein cookie good for me? And I said, well, what do you think? And he started reading off the back, he said, you know, this is 10 grams of fiber, zero trans fat, non-GMO, no soy, no dairy, the list goes on. And I said, okay, cool, well, um, let's rise above any kind of marketing uh, and antics, tactics, um, and show you a easier way to break down whether the foods that you're purchasing are healthy or not. And what this is, is, is an app that I use called ewg.org, or that's the website. Um, it's called Healthy Living by ewg.org, which is the environmental working group. And it's very simple. All you have to do is either scan the barcode of specific foods, or what you can do is you can type in the food, and then it's gonna give you a breakdown and a score of how healthy that food is based, again, on nutrition concern, ingredient concern, and processing concern. So, um, also, what it does is it can break down the chemical components of any body products that you use. So consumer products like toothpaste, soap, lotion, shampoo, which is really great. And inside that, they show things like allergy concerns, cancer concerns, developmental concerns. Uh, so I'm gonna run you through a couple uh, foods and show you what that looks like on the app. And then I'm also gonna do that with a lotion that I use. And from there, you can decide whether you think this is something that would be useful to you and you can use it in the future. So I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so this is the Healthy Living app powered by Skin Deep and Food Scores. As I said, you can come inside here, you can type in the name of a food, or what you can do is you can scan a barcode. The food in question was the complete cookie. Uh, again, no five or 10 grams of fiber, no dairy, no egg, no soy, no, no non-GMO. Vegan, 16 grams of protein. Sounds not too bad. But let's scan it and check it out. All right, so what you see here is you have the score on the upper left-hand corner, it's an 8.0. Now 10 is the highest score with the most concern, one is the best score you can have with the least amount of concern. And the concerns stem down here from the ingredient concern, the nutrition concern, and the processing concern. So the nutrition concern and the ingredient concern aren't too bad here, but the processing concern is. And then what it does is it breaks down all of these different aspects of that particular food and shows you why it may be or may not be one of the better choices that you can make. So this would be a poor choice or reserved for cheat meals and off days. And today is my, uh, my meal prep I'm about to start in right now. So I'm about to jump into making some ancient harvest spaghetti, corn and quinoa. Let's see what it has to say about that. Where is the barcode? All right, so this is a 1.1 on the scale. I mean, obviously you could have broken down the fact that this is gonna be healthier than the complete cookie, but again, here it gets into the specifics of uh, what is going on with that particular food. So there's no red dashes, no negative concerns uh, on this particular food. So. This is, again, something that you can use every time you go to the grocery store. Not all foods are registered in this database, but I will say that it's growing uh, rapidly. And every time I go to the store, I feel like there's more and more uh, foods that are uploaded into the system. Now, last thing I wanna show you, which is really cool, we have the lotion that I use. This is Nubian, um, Nubian Heritage Indian Hemp Haitian vetiver uh, and what we're going to do here is just go in and type it in so here when we're talking about limiting any kind of you know 
chemicals that can cause allergies or cancer or, or have developmental concerns, this can break down that for you specifically. So the only real concern in this product is the essential oil blend. Um, there are some other chemicals in there that are of much lesser concern. But again, one is the best score, 10 is the worst score. So this is very low on the scale. I try with my food and with uh, my consumer products to stay below a three if I can. Lastly, I want to show you how you can just search for random things that you may want to choose the best body products. So say you want to buy some soap, you just type in soap and it's actually going to break down from best to worst in this list. So these are EWG certified and those are going to be the best options that you can uh, potentially choose. So when I'm searching for consumer products or food, sometimes I go in here, I just type in what I'm looking for, I see which ones are certified, and then either I'm at Whole Foods or I'm on amazon.com, and those are the ones that I purchased. So I hope this really helps. It's been super helpful for me over the course of um, the past four or five years, and I hope you, you can take this with you, utilize it, and it helps you make more informed decisions.